And as the school year also for universities gets closer, sports lecture halls will also look different. Well, so will band. Our Ashley Gonzalez spoke with the director of bands at Texas A&M Kingsville and a student on how a nationally and globally ranked band can still safely create a symphony. From a standing ovation in the audience of over a thousand people. <laughs> to a big empty room. The way a note comes together from a group of instruments will now come from a mix of digital screens from different locations. Something that will quickly become the new normal once ensembles start at Texas A&M Kingsville. It's like you see on YouTube with lots of windows of people playing and we, we use the technology to bring them all together virtually. Students of TAMUK have the option of taking hybrid, in-person, or online courses. Usually for Wind Symphony, all students would meet in person. But now, in the new COVID-19 era, this is what students are expected to see. Small groups of people who may play together, physically together, but spaced out and, you know, following the science, figured out in how much space each person needs to, be, to take so that we have proper distancing. We have entrances and exits figured out. We've got sanitizing stations. And for senior Anthony Gonzalez, playing music at Havelina Nation is his only passion. He says COVID-19 didn't show him what he can't do, but what he can. I can't see myself doing anything other than music. Like in, in every other possibility in my head, I, I don't see a future without it in my life as a, as a constant. Dr. Jones says there's no music without a healthy harmony. So every measure to keep his students safe will be taken, even if it looks just a little bit different. If we can still provide that great experience and that opportunity, we're going to do it. And But we're going to do it the smart way and do it safely. And we're not going to take unnecessary risks. Dr. Jones says tryouts will still happen, but completely virtually. Ashley Gonzalez, 3 News.